Now, what is it? What is this weird Westminster belief that the worst thing in the world is the pursuit of policies that are popular with the people? What, why do they hate It is literally a snob thing, in my view. It is a superior elitism that looks down on policies and views that are shared by large numbers of people because there is an intellectual superiority about these, these people that say it's populism. What they mean is uh, that they think that they are cleverer than mm. most people mm. and that most people are stupid in their popular ideas about things like the very, very bad impact of allowing just about anyone yeah. into this country. You're exactly right. And uh, uh, Labour are particularly prone to this syndrome because there's Populism. nothing Labour... You know, when, when I say uh, that Labour are appalled by policies that are popular with the people, what I really mean is uh, they're appalled by policies that are popular with working class people. Yeah. People like Starmer see it as his job to yeah. protect us, yeah. the uh, moronic masses from our baser instincts. Yeah. It's, That's just, it. it's just disgusting. Mm. Why don't you just pursue some policies that we might like? What exactly is wrong with that? Anyway, uh, we now have uh, your special report ready. Uh, so uh, this is Isabel uh, at an immigration detention centre that's being constructed uh, near Oxfordshire. So have a look at this. So this is Campsfield Immigration Detention Centre, at least it used to be. This place closed a few years ago following an awful lot of protests from Oxford-based do-gooders. And just opposite is actually an airfield, Oxford uh, Airport. Now, it's not a commercial airport in the sense that you can't fly to Tenerife, you can't go on a package holiday from Oxford Airport, but it is a place where small planes can take off and land. Ideal, you might have thought, for deporting illegal immigrants and failed asylum seekers. So today, this former detention centre is being overhauled, it's being extended, it's being refurbed with a view to once again reopening. And ironically, uh, Rishi Sunak's Home Office announced a big £70 million construction contract to rebuild this detention centre just days after he announced the snap general election. So the contract has already been awarded, construction is well underway. Now they won't let us in here, in fact, the minute that I appeared out from this security booth sprung a security guard and I think the gate had been actually been open because construction workers have been coming to and fro. But as I approached, clearly I didn't look very much like a construction worker. So he, with a loud bang, locked it shut with the padlock. So we can't actually get any further here. What do you do on the site? Me? Yeah. Are you a builder? Yeah. Oh, OK. What do you think you're building? What? what sorry. You say that you're a builder. You're a builder. You're working yeah. in the construction. Yes. What are you building? I'm driving in a fork till I unlock. You're doing what? I'm, I'm forklift driver. Oh, you're a forklift driver. Right. OK, do you know what is being constructed here? Here? Yeah, what is it? Is that, uh, like a council house. What's that for? It's like a small small prison. Or small for prison? Migration from... Oh, OK, and, and are you happy with that? Do you do you think yeah. it's a good thing? Yeah. OK, where, can I ask where you're from? You're, are you... British or? No. Where are you from? from? Poland. From Poland. Oh well, thank you. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, I can tell you that this is an immigration detention centre which is going to become the focus of the debate over what to do with illegal asylum seekers and failed migrants who should be deported. Now, uh, great report, uh, Isabel. Uh, we got in touch with the Home Office and they confirmed that uh, construction is continuing uh, on what essentially was the R Rishi's Tory government's immigration removal centre, uh, Campsfield House. Uh, so I, I, guess, I guess the confusion here is, you know, are, are Labour just going to continue with the Tory policy or will this end up being, well, you, I said £70 million, pounds, but you, you think it might be more than that down the drain? I mean, what's... So what is going to happen with this facility? This is a real test for the new Labour government mm. because 
uh, Sunak's government outgoing has set a nasty little trap for them. <laughs> He's already... It's all fun and games, isn't it? Yeah. Just before they went out of office, they signed this multi-million pound construction contract. 70 million is already tied up in contracts. The whole refurb is going to cost 227 million. The question for Labour is, do they press on with this? Now, why is this particularly awkward for them? Because there are a mass of campaigners Many of them are Labour politicians, including Labour-dominated Oxford City Council, who are determined that this immigration centre should never reopen. So what is uh, Yvette Cooper, the Home Secretary, going to do? Is she going to press ahead with it and try to hammer home the message that this new Labour government is serious yeah, really about deporting yeah. illegal immigrants? Or, and if she does, if she does press ahead, she's going to have to face down the objections of Oxford City Council, of Oxford County Council, mm. of some 90 academics uh, from the university and student groups, refugee charities. These are all uh, Lib Dem and Labour voters, by the way. So is she going to face those down? And also the local MPs don't want this thing. Not for the reasons that probably you or I and many of our listeners mm. don't want it. They don't want it because they think it's inhumane to lock up any asylum seekers. They don't want it because they believe Oxford should be a city of sanctuary. Yeah. So what are they going to do? <laughs> By the way, um, co continue the alliteration with that. A soppy city of sanctuary. Right, yes, Unbelievable. Quite. The city of Woke doing yeah, what it does. Yeah.